Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In previous class, we started to understand about JavaScript, what is JavaScript and how we use JavaScript. In today's lecture, basically, we will see that where we can write the JavaScript code, how we can embed a JavaScript code within our HTML, and what are the various ways of writing a JavaScript code and what's its basic structure. This is Dr. Dushan Bardi. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you receive the lectures and updates of all the future lectures regularly. So let's begin. Now, um, just like any other HTML or CSS code, we also write a JavaScript code within our HTML page. We need to embed that code within our HTML page. So in order to do that, basically what we do is we need to go into our HTML and we uh, first of all need to write the same HTML page code that we have done for previous classes. So we write an HTML and close HTML and within each HTML we remember that we have something called a head tag and a backslash head and we need body similarly and backslash body okay so this is a prerequisite for every standard html5 code so we save this as and we save it to a location where we want we go here and we name it um for example test.js.html now again um this is a javascript code that we are going to embed within our html page so we still save that page as an html file browser still needs this as an html file Remember, we can write an external GSS, uh, JavaScript file as well. We'll talk about that later on. So we save it as a standard HTML file. Now within this HTML file, in order to write the JavaScript code, basically we write a code called script. So we say SCRIPT script, uh, type, let it be, for example, text slash JavaScript, and we close the brackets for here. Okay. So the script is basically another HTML tag that we specify and that we know need to write in order for our JavaScript code to work. Within this script code, we specify JavaScript. A JavaScript won't work in the standard, normal, any other HTML tag properly. Wherever we need to work a certain piece of JavaScript code, we basically need to write a script tag. And then within that script tag, we embed the HTML code. So it doesn't matter how many times you want to use JavaScript, as long as you know that if you needed JavaScript for 10 times at 10 different locations, you still need to write J, um, a script tag and then embed the HTML uh, JS code within it. Okay, so once we are here, basically now you can write the standard Java code or whatever you want to write. So for our example, we would write document dot r i t e write. I'm oh, sorry, r i t e write bracket start bracket close, and we can write for example hello world. Okay, and we save it with semicolon. Now this basically means that we are going into document dot write. Now um, within JavaScript, again JavaScript or behaves. Uh, similar to uh, Java, it behaves, no, it's not same, it behaves like a JavaScript because it you considers everything as object. So everything within our HTML is considered as an object by JavaScript and then it applies various properties and methods on those objects. So in uh, this case, we have specified document. Now document is again an object which represents your page. Again, objects are basically uh, what we call representation of our phys physical worlds, right? So physical world phenomena of physical world uh, rip objects. So in this case, the web page, the web page is basically considered as a document. So when we write document, basically we're referring to an entire web page. Dot write, basically dot means it's a connector operator. It connects your web page with a method called write. So now we are writing on our web page, okay? What where we want to write? We write within the bracket. So hello world, is basically a string that we have given to our document okay and we use this write method to write that string on our document so once i save this file and if i can go back into its output with a live streaming clicking on here let me see if i get an output of js script uh, and if i go back let the page come and hello world is printed okay so now you note that there is no uh, paragraph tag there is no other tag there is only uh, javascript still we get some output on our html page this output has been generated now using through javascript similarly using this thing now we can come back here and we can also write for example document dot r i t e write w r sorry let me write this with r w r i t e write we start the brackets and then we can write for example h1 uh, bracket start h1 block close uh, this is javascript heading okay backslash h1 and we close it control s give a semicolon 
okay we go back into our code and you would see this the heading is coming on now what has happened here is that uh, it has used the heading tag as well but instead of printing the text as it is it has printed what heading tag represents so what happens is this that once you execute your js code within our html so obviously first the html gets executed then the js code but what you write on the js code again goes back to the browser okay because you are representing it through something called document dot write now because we are using document dot write document again represents to your web page so once you write something using document dot write this string is again passed to your browser that there is a string coming from javascript kindly process it and once the browser processes it it again sees ah there is an html code here so it executes the html code as well so instead of printing h1 and backslash h1 as it is that html code gets executed and based on that the output is again generated which basically again means that yes we can use html tags within our javascript code as well so we can print or even use whatever standard javascript code that you want within our javascript uh, with javascript sorry html code within our javascript code okay so i can use a for example paragraph tags i can use a div tags i can specify the style for this within my code and i can specify that for example the color should be blue okay and uh, semicolon and then i can go back into my um, sorry style blue close it now because this style requires quotation marks but we cannot give quotation marks double quotation marks because this will create problem so what we do is we use single quotation marks if i use double quotation marks this means the string ends here now another string starts but this will create a problem because we this string is supposed to continue so if you need to use such kind of a behavior you be instead of specifying double quotations we use a single quotation marks so we specify this is paragraph text text and backslash p we close it so what we've done here is we use a quotation marks then whatever you write inside the quotation marks is supposed to go inside our javascript code however if your html code again requires a double quotation marks so instead of using those double quote mark we need to go have a single quotation marks otherwise it will generate problem for us and the output will not be as we desire it so now we have a blue text as well so you can see that even the css code that we specify within the style text gets executed the html gets executed again using something called document dot write so this is one way of writing the text or specifying the javascript code we can come into head tag as well and we can write the script and sorry typ e type and then we can say text slash javascript we close this we come here so the same script code can also be specified in head tag head tag means that if you need to process some instructions before the actual page is loaded which can basically mean checking few settings of your web browser checking the compatibility for example or some settings or browser size and whatever what not you want to do with js you can do that in head tag as well okay so once we write the script now what we can do is we can write document or in our case let me just give an example of window dot alert okay and i'll try the brackets close this and within our inverted quotations we write this is alert before the body is l o a d e d loaded okay now what we have done we have used another object called window okay this window object represents the entire browser as a window again document represents the page however when you use a window it represents the entire window so you can use this window object to find out and process the window element within our window so the window or the browser window that appears you can see its size you can control its tabs you can start a new tab on whatever functions you want to perform in this case we use that window to call a method called alert now what alert will do it will generate a pop up message within that window so window it will have another pop up or dialog window that's why we use a window here okay so main window dot alert is again message within that window that call a pop up message and whatever string we write inside this will be actually displayed here but again because we have called this in the head this basically means that this script gets executed first then the body so once i come back here hit a refresh or let me save it come back here i'm sorry here we go yes yeah, so as soon as we save see this we get the message here and there is no content on the web page yet 
so because we wrote a script in our ht um, in our head tag now this script gets executed first we click okay and then the body is executed okay so this is basically uh, what we mean by executing something in our head tag so the first thing we do is that in order to execute javascript you need script tag in html you write the javascript code inside the h6 script tag okay so that script tag can be in your head that script tag can be in your body that script tag can be multiple times as well so for example after the script tag has ended i come back here i add another paragraph okay close it uh, and i can say this is second para okay uh, p a r a para and then i can come back here i can add an h2 okay this is subheading and then i can come back here and then i can add an other para this is third para and then after this i can again come back here i can use a script i can say type should be for example text javascript and then i can close it come back here and i can write document dot w r i t e write bracket open bracket close and then within its standard quotations this is and then i think let's just use another h1 and then uh, style style equals colon start colon close but again let me just use the double quotation marks for now and then i will explain again the same problem uh, style i think i can use text dash a l i g and align colon c e n t i think it's e r i always forget that semicolon text uh, i think simply let's just use c o l o r color and this can be for example blue semicolon and then uh, when the bracket closes i close this and i can say this is heading uh, from javascript we close and we close h1 backslash h1 we close it we close inverted quotations now what has happened is that again we are to print another thing using a document dot write however we use inverted quotation start inverted quotations close and everything goes inside it but because my i use h1 tag and a style and this style requires a string processed again through inverted quotation marks if i give that again see so you can see this the string has completely changed now because now javascript will read that inverted quotation start inverted quotations close this is some text that is out of quotations then again inverted quotation start inverted quotations close so this text here becomes un understandable by javascript where it will create error it will create a problem for us so if you need to process a string within a string in this case we use a single quotation marks okay so we come here we remove this we give a single quotation marks now javascript will read the inverted quotation start inverted quotations close everything is within the quotation marks when this is processed by the browser browser will understand very humbly very acknowledgingly are ah, you using single quotation marks doesn't matter it will still try to process it once you save it we go back into browser you can see this is the first the header is loaded because we have specified window dot alert in our head tag okay and we click okay and now the text is basically processed and as you can see this this is a heading from js click okay i think i spelled this c e n t e r right c e n t e r control s i go back into browser and now we have a center available so this is a heading that has been generated from js now this is again javascript heading this is again javascript heading this text is a standard text okay oh sorry this text is standard text so you can use javascript as many times as you want within your body or within your head for that matter but as long as you remember you use a script tag and you specify whatever code you are using here okay um, similarly we will be now by processing more elements and more components as we go along in the next lecture okay um, where we try to process the outputs and generate more different uh, again variable based decisions and event based decisions within our javascript okay hopefully you understand this and in next class we will try to work and continue from here thank you very much for watching if you here for the again first time please don't forget to subscribe the channel uh, so that you follow and understand uh, this complete javascript in a easy way